Hello, this is Johnny at Man and Machine. This is going to be a quick demonstration of the new feature inside of BIM360 Docs that allows you to create issue templates, which is really handy if you have issues that are the same again and again and again and again. Um, so what I've just done at the top here is just clicked on my issues tab um, inside of BIM360 Docs. I need to be a project administrator for this to work. So the new tab at the top here next to issues is this templates. Um, I've actually already set these, one of these templates up, but to show you how it works, you would hit create template, create a category. So in this case, I've called this quality. These are customizable. So these are your input in terms of category. They're just a way of essentially grouping the different issue templates that you create. Um, so you fill this form out and then what you get. So I've just created one earlier here. So I'm just going to hit edit on one that I had. So I've created this snagging or quality inspection um, issue that I'm going to use. So once you've done that, um, essentially you've just filled in a load of stuff that perhaps somebody would be doing again and again and again um, if they were going around doing snagging um, to save them a bit of time. So to use this in the browser, um, I'm going to use one of the drawings that I've got in my plans area. So I'm just going to head to a PDF and create an issue just so you can see how this works. So if I just click on one of these drawings at random um, and then head to my issues tab and then hit create issue, click somewhere on the drawing. And then from the top here, I've got the option for site snagging. And you can see here, it's actually filled out all of the fields um, that I'd added to the template. And what I would need to do in here is just maybe add a description of what this is actually, what I'm trying to describe in here. So the sink, um, sink needs changing. Maybe have to excuse spelling perhaps for that. And then I can hit create. So. If all I was doing was just going around adding little descriptions about things, perhaps that's all I need in those issues. And that's going to save me a lot of time rather than having to fill in all those fields exactly the same every time, perhaps if I was going through a batch of drawings. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm actually going to connect my iPhone and I'm going to create an issue for that snagging that we were looking at. Um, so just need to head to BIM 360 here, which I have open conveniently. So this is the, um, the BIM 360 app, and I'm just in the same project that we're looking at on the browser here. So what you have to imagine here is that perhaps I'm on site, um, I've got access to those drawings, and I can just then find the drawing that's relevant to perhaps where I am in the project. So I've got uh, a drawing here, and what I'm going to do is we'll say I'm on site, and perhaps this door here isn't the same spec that we have in the drawing. So I'll create an issue. Um, and all I did there was just hit the issues at the bottom and then click where I wanted it. And then I can click the templates from the top of the list, exactly the same as the browser, choose site snagging, and it's filled in all of these details for me. What I can do slightly differently on the phone, so this is useful if we are doing a site inspection perhaps, is I can actually add a photo. So if I just click on the photo button here, you're going to see my keyboard, but imagine I'm looking at the door. I can then take a photo and I can hit done at the bottom there. And I can add that to this particular issue. And then I would add a quick description in here to say maybe door doesn't conform. So maybe it's just a little bit about which spec it should be. Um, I can add more details. I can change any of these information in here, but it's just saving me that time rather than having to keep on filling it in. And then I can hit create. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, it's just a really quick intro into that new feature there. If you have any questions, please do contact us here at Man and Machine.